For Theo Eastwind, every song is a single, a one song audition. Playing in the subway is better than any club for Eastwind, but making a living underground can be tough. The best year I had busking was maybe around 80, 90 grand. Uh, and that was, you know, just crazy good CD sales and other jobs and stuff. And the worst was probably making 10K a year. I kind of know how you live off that, but uh, I did. There is no permit required in New York for performers or buskers, as they're sometimes called, but the city holds annual auditions to allocate prime times and real estate in the city's subway system. Tyrone Slater's drum ensemble got a choice spot on the two train platform in Penn Station. It allows him to network with other musicians and club owners, but it's really all about the riders. You're not just playing, but you bring healing. Because people would come up to you after work and say, man, I was so stressed. But hearing this music, I feel so relief. You make my day. It is illegal to perform in the subway cars themselves. But on the platform, whether commuters like it or not, music is legal. You have a right under the First Amendment, in fact, to say you hate this saxophone player because he's too loud and he's, he, he sucks. It's your right to do so, but it's also the right of the saxophone player to be here to say, how oh, sucky I am, I'm expressing myself. The ultimate compliment for a busker, a New Yorker choosing to wait for the next train. David Martin, Associates.